Right to the final, what lesson do you draw uh, at the personal level? It is a grace. It is a grace. It's God's grace. Because I was injured somehow uh, two days to the beginning of the competition. That is, I was part of the list. I was among the list of those that were injured. Uh, I want to thank God for this grace. Another question over here? So, the illustration of uh, we know your track record in Benin and uh, also Ghana has what has this training brought to you? I think uh, mentally it has brought tremendously to me because my track record in Benin was not uh, an easy task. I think I was able to take my head out of the water. So today the results are there to a certain. I was a little bit far from my parents while still pretty young and and today by the grace of God I was able to take my head out of the, out of the water. Uh, last, qu uh, last question. Before I came to the tournament I was a starting player so my ambition is to go back and keep going and fighting for my place. Thank you. What? What? The young boys. What do you say? What advice can you give the young They should keep believing in themselves. Like nothing is impossible. If you if you have a chance to do something, just go for it. Thank you very much. Merci à tous. The entire competition, the entire competition, the, the entire competition actually was uh, extraordinary. It was, uh, of course, there were a lot of suspense, a lot of. Uh, a change in, uh, in the situations, a lot of spectacle as well, uh, a, lot, a lot of show, I would say. Cote d'Ivoire should be proud of its Afghan. It's uh, rich enough. Uh, there were a lot of surprises, a lot of, uh, 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 let's say, the cliffhangers. We are very happy to mobilize the, the people for this Afghan. First, on. I would like to ask you about the uh, irrational parts of your track records, of your achievements. Uh, what, you what you are living like is a fairy tale. Is it like a fairy tale? How do you think about it? What do you think about it? It's more, like, it's more than a fairy tale than anything else, actually. I am, uh, it's difficult for me to realize what I am going through right, uh, right now. And when I think about all we went through throughout the competition with hard times when we were late, uh, when we we came back in the last minute, it's quite uh, great. Uh, we are lucky enough. Uh, we have been, uh, we have faced, we have enjoyed miracles. Uh, because, but so we didn't leave anything. We kept uh, fighting till the last minute. We showed that we are men, and in, in spite of uh, anything, against all odds. Could have uh, uh, nice. Uh, it's the first Afghan 40 years ago. And today, you, uh, you are 40 years. Uh, what's your feeling? You are, you are 40 years. Uh, I, cannot, I, I, mean, I cannot tell you my joy. I'm so, so, I'm so happy. Uh, I'm overwhelmed with joy. I was dreaming to win an Afghan as a player. I was not able to achieve it. But now, I had the opportunity as a manager, as a coach, to achieve that dream, or to make that, that dream true. Of course, this happens in a very particular situation because uh, this even happens the day of my, my, my anniversary, my birthday, my birthday. Uh, I, I had to support, I had to, to, had to, 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 uh, to associate uh, Mr. Jean-Luc Gasset to this victory as well. Bef of course, he left before we qualified. I, I celebrated a very particular birthday when he left that day after when you have a second chance, you have to take it, to grab it, and use it at the, at the best possible.
So we use all that effort, we build that effort to... Christelle Kwasi, A plus Ivoire, coach, you are African champion now. I'm right there in front of you. Congratulations, coach. I would like to know. I introduced... Uh, we were scored, like we had a score during the first half of the match. What did you tell the player? And then you come back on the pitch and you equalize before the last final whis whistle and the goal that brings the third star to the to Cote d'Ivoire. What are the words that you s you said to the to the players? <coughs> Actually, we asked our players to continue fighting, with, with and, and so we started the match very well. We had uh, control over the ball, mm -hmm. had good possession, good opportunities. Mm -hmm. Of course, we suffered the goal during against uh, against the game. Uh, because we are, uh, we lose, we, we lost the focus uh, at a certain point in time. So we asked them to continue playing, to continue uh, to make Nigerian run in the, on the pitch. Uh, so of course, we also felt that Nigerians were a bit tired; they were so, so somehow exhausted. So b b because, uh, uh, so uh, we asked our players to continue to pressurize Nigerians. Uh, uh, as much as possible, because we knew that if we get them exhausted, then it will be have a more opportunity to continue and play our game. Agence France Press, you had uh, a great start as a coach. You're champion after four matches. The coach Peseros on the line that the, your, your, your team managed very well the pressure. I would like to ask, how did you manage to achieve this? Because uh, you were a bit nervous. Uh, maybe I was wrong. How did you transmit the calmness to the prayer to the players so they they keep the game? I'm very calm by nature. I'm very discreet. I'm very calm. I was tired maybe yesterday, but not especially nervous. I would like to also say that we have experienced players such as Mas Gradel and Serge Aurier, who have won the Afcon in 2015, and they have a lot of experiences. Even the, uh, the player, one player was injured, and all these players allowed us, our staff, to appease, to, to, to bring calmness to, this, to the management of this final. I knew that we, we were going to have an advantage over Nigeria because uh, uh, they have more experience as uh, final players. But we know that final pl uh, playing the final is a particular match, and on this aspect, I think we have been more uh, experienced. Edematic Way, quotidien, Togo Matin from Togo. Congratulations for this win. Apparently, you had uh, a very difficult time. You were not the one who built up the team. I would like to know whether you were the uh, coach who would have chosen this, uh, the, those players. Would you have uh, called on other players or would you have made some changes? I would like to know, what do you mean, right? The hard time. I would like to know, after taking over, and uh, you have made, s you have success, well, you have succeeded, if you were the coach who were choosing the player at the beginning of, of this AFCON, would you have the same team, or maybe there were players that you were not going to call? I didn't understand the question, please. It, it doesn't mean anything. Good evening, coach. <coughs> Sorry. Good evening, coach, and congratulations. We can't hear. We can hear the speaker. Sorry, we cannot hear the speaker. Are you n were you not doubting at this moment? No, I would say no, because we had a lot of time. We still had time because we were at the 55th minute. We still had a lot of time. We were controlling the match. We knew that we were going to have other opportunities to score. And uh, we, we had to keep calm. You had to remain calm and uh, control and keep insisting. And we knew that at the end of the g of the end of the uh, 
the match we would have we were going to score. Even uh, the two missed opportunities, we remained confident and we knew that we were going to have other opportunities to score. The last question at the behind. been uh, going through a lot of difficulty we had to deep dive and find the strength to win we feel we feel relieved today because we know that we didn't make all those efforts for nothing we have respected the football because on the first stage group we uh, we we missed our march and we were close to the humiliation and elimination and when we had a second chance we have been uh, playing with humility so to not get the second chance to waste and I feel relieved and I'm happy for this uh, for this win and all the <laughs>